Snap-on Training Solutions helps you get the most out of your Triton D8 diagnostic tool. I'm Jim Moritz, Global Field Trainer and Sales Support Representative. This module covers the use of the graphing multimeter and lab scope. We'll start with graphing multimeter. For more in-depth scope training, continue to lab scope training in this module following graphing multimeter. The graphing multimeter and lab scope are powerful diagnostic tools that give you the ability to directly test vehicle components to verify faulty components before replacement. To avoid damaging the meter, never attempt to measure more than the meter's rated capacity. Select graphing multimeter to measure or monitor a signal to see how its value changes over time. Most of these tests can be made with the standard leads included with the tool. Here are some optional probes available for specialized tests to detect glitches in pressure, vacuum, and temperature in automotive applications. Current measurements require the optional precision low amp probe. This is especially useful for finding parasitic loads, faulty injectors, pumps and relays. Contact your Snap-on representative to learn more. Let's select volts DC to graph voltage change over time. Here a constant voltage signal appears as a flat line with no variations or glitches over time. We can easily capture glitches and dropouts to detect wiring issues, failing components, and intermittent problems. The meter continuously records up to 262 screens of data for review. This makes it easy to perform a road test or a wiggle test without having to watch the meter. Pressing the pause stop icon freezes the data recording so you can review it. Use the double arrows icons to scroll one screen at a time. Use the single arrows icons to scroll one data point at a time. Or slide this scroll bar forward and back to quickly access all recorded data. Customize the meter display with these setup tools. The profile icons choose which channels to display. Touch once to hide a channel, and again to display it. To move a channel up or down the scale, touch and drag the channel marker up or down. With more than one channel activated, the graphing meter or the scope can show relationships between component functions, like these two wheel speed sensor signals, or compare two similar components to detect the one that is failing. The probe icon is used to select the device being used to sample the signal. Options are test leads, volts DC, vacuum, pressure, amps, and more. The graphing meter also tracks the minimum and maximum recorded values. Select the refresh icon to clear these values and the tracking starts over. To see more detail at any time, touch the full screen arrow to hide the control settings and expand the graphing display. Touch it again to show the control panel. The toolbar contains navigational and control icons. The data buffer position indicators are graphical and numerical position indicators. The main body contains the meter and scope display. The control panel contains channel and trace controls. The expand collapse icon toggles display between split and full screen views. Stop stops the data buffer. Now we can observe the pause data and navigational controls. In full screen mode, when selected, this icon becomes active, indicated by its white color, and opens the control panel at the bottom of the screen while switching active data selection focus to the show, hide, or probe icon in the control panel. In the split screen mode, with the control panel open, when selected, this icon becomes surrounded by a white frame, 
and switches active selection focus to the show hide or probe icon in the control panel. Be aware that switching active selection focus to the control panel allows manual navigation using the directional control buttons of the control panel control icons. Zoom increases and decreases screen magnification. The zoom function is only available during data review when the scope is stopped. Here we see zoom level 4. Here we see zoom level max. Adjust zoom levels until the screen suits your viewing preference. The cursors icon toggles the cursors off and on. The main body may display the following. Menu allows selecting using the touch screen or the control buttons. Meter scope display allows two signal traces to be displayed simultaneously. Each trace is displayed as voltage over time and the voltage level is recorded on the vertical or Y axis and time is presented on the horizontal or X axis of the screen. The graphing multimeter and lab scope functions have the capability to save, store, and playback data signals. The data buffer position indicators are used to visually see the overall amount and position of the stored buffer data during saving and playback. When a test function is selected, the data buffer runs continuously storing data until the stop icon is selected. When data is stopped, the bar graph becomes a slider to quickly scroll through collected data. This is the data buffer indicator bar graph. Over here we see the data buffer indicator slider, and here we see the data buffer position counter. When buffer memory reaches its full capacity, the data buffer will continue to store new data. However, earlier stored data will be removed to allow room for the new data being stored. Certain tests may display a confirmation prompt asking, do you wish to calibrate this probe before continuing with the test? As a general practice, it is important to ensure the test probe is calibrated before testing to ensure accurate results. Typical resistance, pressure, and vacuum tests will display the calibration message, reminding you to calibrate the probe. To perform the probe calibration, Select Yes at the prompt and continue to follow the on-screen instructions to complete the calibration. The most common and typically the first adjustments made when performing tests are the setup or adjustment of the scales and selection of a probe. To adjust the vertical scale unit of measurement, select the vertical scale icon Select a value, then press the N slash X button to exit the menu. For example, selecting 10 volts changes the vertical scale to a 10 volt scale. The horizontal scale represents time, and the unit of measurement, the value displayed in the sweep scale icon, indicates the active sweep setting. Be aware, sweep settings apply to all channels and cannot be set independently per channel. To adjust the sweep scale unit of measurement value, select the sweep scale icon to open the sweep scale menu. Select a value, then press the N slash X button to exit the menu. Touch the green channel indicator once to hide a channel, and again to display it. To move a channel up or down the scale, touch and drag the channel marker up or down. With more than one channel activated, the graphing meter or the scope can show relationships between component functions like these two wheel speed sensor signals. When peak detect is off, the scope samples at a high rate no preference is given to any point during the selection process. When peak detect is on, all sample points are evaluated. 
PicDetect captures fast events, spikes, and glitches for signals going in both positive and negative directions. Using the filter with the lab scope smooths out fast spikes, which helps to provide a good balance between noise suppression and signal integrity. Using the filter is useful when working with scales of 5 volts and below. The lower the voltage scale, the more likely noise can occur. Using the filter with the graphing multimeter, the filter minimizes noise by ignoring or smoothing out fast signal spikes. To turn the filter on and off, select the filter icon. The invert feature is used to switch signal polarity. For example, a signal that normally rises from 0 to plus 5 volts, if inverted, would show falling from 0 to minus 5 volts. To turn inversion on and off, select the invert icon. Here we see the invert icon turned off. Here we see invert turned on. Coupling AC subtracts the average value of a signal so that small variations can be displayed in the waveform. Using coupling AC can be helpful when testing and diagnosing alternator ripple or fuel pump amperage by allowing you to see any abnormal small variation or events. To turn coupling AC on and off, select the coupling AC icon. Here, coupling AC is turned off. The 5 volt signal looks nice and clean, but is it? Notice the new voltage scale. By turning coupling AC on, we can see small variations in the base carrier voltage of 5 volts. Visit this website for a diagnostic quick tip video using coupling AC and alternator ripple. The trigger point appears as a plus sign on the display. Touch and drag the plus sign to position it. Touch the trigger icon to trigger when voltage rises to the threshold value. Touch the icon again to trigger when voltage falls to the threshold value. Select the plus icon to fine-tune trigger position. Or touch the large plus sign on the control panel to use the four-way control for a more precise setting. Easily change the time scale sweep by using the sweep menu. Touch the scale value to change it anytime with this pop-up menu. Highlight and select 2 milliseconds. Changes in sweep shift on the fly so you can immediately see what your new selection will look like. Tap again to select a different sweep if desired. After making a menu selection, simply touch a blank spot on the screen to hide the menu. The scope trigger sets a threshold value that initiates the waveform display. When the voltage passes the threshold value, a new waveform begins. This produces a very stable waveform that does not flicker or drift. To learn more about guided component tests and lab scope functions and settings, refer to the Triton D8 user manual. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Be sure to watch the rest of the modules in this Training Solutions series.